Sundela Traders is owned by Sundela, that is the owner of the business. He has a team that is responsible for the finances. The head of the team is Mandy, an internal auditor. Willie is an accountant and he is responsible for preparing the financial records of the business. So Dara has requested Mandy and Willie to prepare a report on their new supplier, Twitter Wholesalers. Right? The business activities that have been sampled for reporting are reflected in the January a statement received from a, the creditor. Right? So, who is our creditor? Our creditor is who is Tritega Wholesalers. The name of our business is Sondela Traders. Right? And then there's saying The last transaction reflected took place on 29 January 2024. Then they are saying, required. A template must be used to compile a record. I mean, to, to compile a report that is attached in the answer book. A report compiled by an accountant and auditor will address the following. Reconciliation of the creditor's ledger, the one that is prepared by us as a business. And then, the statement of account received from Tritega who sell us our suppliers. Then they are saying, as an internal auditor, you will recommend that that payment should be made via EFT to the business suppliers. Give two reasons to suggest your uh, suggestion. Give two internal co uh, control procedures to ensure um, control over this system. So let's go and start. <laughs> Let's go and start here the information. And then we have even the answer sheet is here. <coughs> so let's get into it. So here is a creditor's ledger. Um you can see that the last day of the creditor's ledger is the date here. <coughs> and then the last day of the statement is the 29. So this means that there is an information that is appearing in the creditor's ledger and is not appearing in the statement. You get me? Okay, let's go to the additional information. The first one, invoice 125 on the 5th of January 2024 was incorrectly recorded as 4,860 in the creditor's ledger. Let's go and check the creditor's ledger. You see, it's this one. It is 4,860. They're saying it was incorrectly recorded as this. But let's go and check in, in the statement that it is recorded as how much? Invoice 125, it is recorded as 6,000. 6,660. So this means that the statement, it was, I mean, the ledger, it was recorded with a small amount. So we have to check the difference. 6,660 minus 4,860. How much is that? 1,000. 1,000. So it means that we still need to go to the ledger and increase it to this 1,800 on the credit side. You agree? Yes. So I'm going to go in verse 1 to 5. So yes. we increase with plus 1,800. Right? That is Roman figure 1. And then, let's continue. Um, then they're saying, Sundela traders qualified for a discount on the payment made on 13 January 2024 as per agreement. So they're saying that 
we did qualify for a discount on the payment that you made on the date in uh, January 2024. Let's go and check it. It's here. Is it? So we it did we did qualify for the discount. It's 1,700. Right? But let's go and check what they're saying. But they're saying, Tritel will say that for God to deduct it and apologize, indicating that it should be brought into account on the next statement. So we, we, there's a discount that was not recorded. Right? On the 13th. You see? They only recorded the EFT. But us, as a business, we did record it. You see? We did record it. We recorded 35,060 and 1.7. So this means that we still need to credit, <coughs> credit the statement with the 1,700. You get it? Yeah. We're decreasing. So we decrease to 1,700. And then, I'm going to look at three. Invoice number 1,350 for 9,600 on the statement received was an error made by Tritega will sell us. So the error is made in the statement. This invoice. They are saying it's an, it's an error. Right? On the statement received yes. by a Tritega will sell us. This invoice was not issued to Sondela traders, meaning that Tritega will sell us was issuing an invoice. But he was not issuing this invoice to us. So meaning that they were not supposed to write this in this statement because they, they were not issuing this to us. They were issuing this maybe to someone else, but not to us. So they were not supposed to show this here. So the statement, it was increased by 9,600. Remember? The statement it increases on the debit and decreases on the credit side. So it was increased by this 9,600. So because it was increased and this was an error. So we have to go and decrease this on the credit side. So meaning that we go to the statement and subtract the 9,800. I mean 9,600. Nine point six. Are you still with me? Yes. Then the next one. Credit note nine seven was recorded incorrectly by Sonella traders. So we are the one who made a mistake, right? So let's check yes. it. Credit note nine seventy. Was incorrectly recorded um, by Sondela traders. So let's go and check it. So if you can check here in the statement, it is recorded on the credit side to show that the statement is decreasing because it's a credit note. So it is recorded here on the credit side to show that the statement is decreasing 2.4. Now let's go, let's go and check in the ledger. 2.4. It is recorded on the credit side. But remember, the ledger does not decrease on the debit side. I mean, it does not decrease on the credit side. So actually, it means we were supposed to record this on the debit side, dang it. Yes. So we go again. The ledger. Right? We were supposed to decrease the ledger with 2.4. But instead of decreasing it, instead of decreasing it, we increased it. So it means that now we are going to decrease it twice. Why are we doing that? We are decreasing the one that we added by mistake. 
then we are decreasing the one that we are supposed to decrease. You, you are told? Yes. Okay. And then, the last one, invoice number 185 does not appear on the statement as it was issued after the statement date. Now let's go and check it. Let's go and check it. Invoice 185. Here it is. They're saying that it does not appear on the, on the, on the, on the statement as it was issued after the statement was um, issued. So rem remember this, I did talk about this one when we when we start, when we started this. I said that this is not appearing in the um, statement. So we have to go and record this in the statement to show that the statement was supposed to increase by the 8.7 since the invoice was issued. But it was not recorded because the statement was already uh, issued. Yes. So we're going to go to the statement and add the 8,700. Right? Yes. But if you can check, on the statement, there is a day 29. You see, and the day twenty nine, you can see that it is not appearing here in that in that in the ledger. It's not appearing. That interest, that interest is not appearing. And this interest, it is debited on the um, statement, meaning that the statement was increasing. So what does it mean? It means that the um, the creditors. They were charging us an interest of 240,000. That is why it is debited. But then this 240 is not recorded in the ledger. But you must record it on the credit side of the ledger to show that we are being charged an interest. So we're going to go to the ledger and increase it with the 240. <laughs> Now let's calculate the totals because now we are done. On the oh, this is bad. on the creditors letter is forty four thousand. Forty four thousand. For the first time, Bani? For the 4,000? 918. 18. Yes. And then the statement? 44,918. 918. So, yours. 